Yeah, so amazing how fast our business has become that I only get seven minutes to give you a proper update about Sonic. Um, um, uh, Dell Technologies has always been a uh, an promoter of open networking. We started uh, already about 10 years ago with uh, supporting multiple operating systems on our switch platforms. Um, Dell saw the, the, the potential of uh, open source networking at a certain moment when lots of um, uh, existing operating systems disappeared from the States. They were acquired again by uh, companies and customers didn't like that. So uh, customers see currently the benefits of, uh, of open source networking, but enterprise grade features are not always uh, available still in, in community software. And that's also the case with community Sonic. So what Dell did is we take the community version of Sonic and we add features that are needed by large enterprise companies. And on the top right, you see, for example, uh, a snapshot of the features that Dell uh, contributed and developed in our own Dell Enterprise Sonic and com uh, contributed back to the community. So EVPN, VXLAN for overlays in data centers, uh, a numbered BGP, MC lock. Those are typical um, technologies that enterprise uh, customers use uh, a lot in their environments. Um, yeah, we are among, amongst the top three open source uh, Sonic con con contributors. And um, what, we, what you get if you, uh, if you adopt uh, Enterprise Sonic from Dell, we deliver customers a hardened, um, uh, a hardened version of Sonic. So we do uh, re regression testing, uh, vulnerability testing, and we, we create a an, an digestible, sim simple version of uh, a binary uh, image that customers can deploy easily or in an automated fashion uh, on our platforms. Enterprises also expect 24 seven around the clock support. So they see the benefits of open source, but they're afraid uh, like uh, cold water fear to immediately start with just uh, open source uh, software without proper support. So that's what, what we deliver with the Dell Enterprise uh, Sonic uh, grade within, uh, within Dell. Um, it was already mentioned for AI. So we deliver um, uh, Sonic for, uh, from edge to core to cloud, and also now for uh, the complicated AI uh, fabrics that uh, need a specific uh, technology to support the, the, the high demanding workloads. There you see the benefit of the uh, micro architecture of, of Sonic. Dell was able um, to get those specific features that are needed to support AI workloads uh, to have that implemented in, in the Dell Enterprise Sonic uh, version, like uh, a priority flow control, uh, Rocky V2 to get the lowest latency, um, but also enhanced hashing of RDMR traffic, which is normally not uh, able to, uh, to spread across an IP network. Um, and with various load balancing technologies implemented in our Sonic, uh, Ethernet uh, can now also be used for example, to train uh, large language models. Um, we also have in our management framework, so we, we um, implemented a specific container that simplifies the, the, the Sonic uh, uh, operability um, with a third party container management system. So as you probably know that Sonic is architected from containers we have a tool, TPCM, which is able to um, install custom containers on the Sonic switch. So an example of that is uh, Zabbix agents, so customers that like to monitor their systems with Zabbix. Zabbix. Uh, Zabbix can also be deployed on a Sonic switch, so you have the same look and feel if you were monitoring 
uh, a Linux uh, system. But then running, a uh, running on a switch with Sonic. <clears throat> and there has al always been a promoter of uh, um, enabling flexibility and openness for our customers. And therefore, we also support our Sonic version on um, multi-vendor platforms. So for example, if you would acquire Dell Enterprise Sonic, it's also supported on S-Core switches. So if, there, if you run into a problem, you can just uh, report it to the help desk of Dell. Although it would not run on the Dell switch, for example. Um, those who remember the, uh, the old days where you could certify, for example, for Cisco networks with CCNA or CCMP certification, we have developed uh, and released last year a training plus a certification um, track. So you learn everything about uh, how to install uh, Sonic, uh, how to configure a routing, um, how to configure a NAT or Q and Q um, features. And on top of that, you can certify for an, uh, a Dell uh, certified Sonic uh, certification. We have a, sol a solid roadmap. Um, so it means that we give customers uh, uh, a look into the future for uh, upon uh, one year, what's coming ahead on, on the portfolio of Dell and the Sonic in features and new platforms that we release. Um, what you see here is uh, typical use cases that we have uh, tested and are used in uh, environments of our customers. So um, I already said that we, um, we have a coverage from edge to core to cloud and also AI. So um, edge deployments, um, typical additional features that would be used which are not available in Community Sonic is for example uh, power over Ethernet or uh, radius uh, authentication. That's for the, for the coverage um, or for the edge deployments and we have a sp special switch around that. Um, from the core that's typical uh, one environments for telcos or cloud service providers that would connect multiple data centers. And um, cloud environments cover the local uh, data center environments for spine leaf fabrics. Um, and which you see here, for example, on S uh, SDN uh, deployments, um, delivering routing to the hosts. Um, multi-tenancy with v VXLAN, eVPN, um, what else? Yeah, of, of obviously Dell also has a lot of storage platforms. So you see a lot of uh, fiber channel over Ethernet customers. Now with uh, 100 uh, gigabit is affordable. They look into NVMe TCP environments. So all those use cases are, are um, tested and documented within the Dell Enterprise Sonic um, release. And then on the bottom, the latest um, additions to use cases. Uh, we um, implemented on top of eVPN, uh, eVPN multi-homing. That is um, uh, pro probably most of you know the um, uh, multi-channel lag or a lag that you use on your host environment connecting to the network. MC lag is only available between two switches and you need a back-to-back -back link. It's an additional protocol. And with eVPN multi-homing, you can um, get rid of your MC lag protocol. You can get rid of your back-to-back -back link. You have the possibility to connect your, um, your host to more than uh, two switches. So for example, to three or four switches, you have additional capacity with that. Um, and, and you have a multi-vendor capability. So if you use eVPN multi-homing, 
um, you, you could, uh, for example, say we, we have a Soldic switch connected to one leg of the host. And uh, for example, Juniper or Arista, that could be able to interoperate because it's open standard based. Um, this is my last slide. So here um, I show you some references of uh, Dell Enterprise Sonic customers um, that uh, on the top you see that Dell uh, eats their own uh, dog food. So um, uh, we have uh, implemented on our uh, global scale also Sonic networking within our um, company, uh, which would mean that we learn a lot from it, but we also make Dell Enterprise Sonic um, yeah, better in that way. Um, we cover uh, companies in different market segments. So uh, RIT is an, uh, a government organization that is looking into smart cities. Uh, Hot ISO is an uh, AI company uh, to deliver uh, a DPU as a service. And the common denominator, what we get back as feedback, is that they're all very satisfied about the idea that Sonic cannot be acquired by a company. It has a steering committee. Dell is also part of the steering committee. So the investment that, cust that customers do make now from, uh, ISO, from um, uh, closed uh, solutions, they give, give them uh, the trust that Sonic will not uh, go away anymore. So all the effort that is put in automation um, uh, yeah, it's a lot of, uh, of benefit. Um, here's some references. I don't know if all the, the slides will be uh, shared to the audience, but uh, else you can make a picture of it. Here you can find some more information. And Sauer Kapoor is our VP of um, product development and uh, he's also in the steering committee. Uh, of, uh, of Sonic, um, and that's my part of, uh, of the presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. That's a great introduction of uh, what's happening in Dell, leveraging Sonic. A little bit of myself, I'm a principal software engineer manager in Microsoft IDO networking team, I'm driving an effort of uh, leveraging the container technology to evolve Sonic cloud operations. I'll give an update on the latest of Sonic today. As you can see from this slide, Sonic continued its uh, tremendous growth of attention across all the social networks. We have seen even stronger momentum in terms of a number of active contributors in the, this year, compared with the same period last year, we have seen like more than seven times growth there. Moreover, Sonic is truly a global community. The contributors are from all different geolocations. Sonic community has built a strong engagement through webinars, blogs, presentations, and user case studies. Last year, we have seen several significant milestones that's uh, showcasing the growing impact of Sonic across the industries and the regions. Notably, Sonic was featured in the Walmart keynote, highlighting its uh, crucial role in transforming the retail networking. Orange Telecom also adopted uh, Sonic, further cementing its uh, reputation in the telecom industry. The integration of uh, Sonic and uh, AI-driven networking solutions has also demonstrated the adaptability of Sonic to support cutting-edge technologies. Moreover, Sonic empowered Japan KDDI operator to innovate and scale their operations improving their network performance and efficiency. 
these developments underlined the impact and potential of Sonic to embrace innovation at global scale. This year, Sonic has about seven key events across US, Europe, Japan, India, and China. This global presence reflects the enthusiasm and engagement of this uh, vibrant Sonic community with users and developers. The strong interest in Sonic also demonstrated the impact and the potential for Sonic to support all the innovations. And also we are like bringing out diverse range of professionals to collaborate and contribute to Sonic. Here I'm going to introduce uh, what's uh, happening in Microsoft in terms of uh, applying Sonic in our latest technologies. I'll start with uh, Dash. Dash uh, provides abstraction over different hardware implementations such as Smart NIC, Smart Switch, and the Smart Appliance. It allows uh, to accelerate the network uh, packet processing using hardware-based approach. We can, we can achieve like a 10x or 100x improvement in terms of uh, CPS and the PPS through this kind of mechanism. We use uh, Sonic to boost AI networking, which I will cover on a later slide. To improve the availability of our AIS offering in Azure, Dutar was also introduced to avoid single point of failure for our um, rack. So all the Dutar design was based on the standard Sonic stack. Sonic is also used to build the 400G and 800G network for both the traditional workload and the AI workload. Given that Sonic is able to unify the network device management interface using things like GM and GOI, we are also able to leverage open source solutions such as Kubernetes to unify the fleet management interface, which is very similar to how we are managing all the servers. Sonic is also used to build the disaggregated chassis, which is uh, improving the cost efficiency, reliability, and also allowing all the individual components to evolve independently. So in the layered architecture of Sonic, you can see that we're using, um, we're providing a software abstraction over different hardware implementation. Now, with that, we are also introducing Kubernetes into this fleet management stack, which can support all the inventory management, container deployment, config update, OS update, and all sorts of repair operations on Sonic devices. So um, AI workload has a bunch of unique characteristics that uh, I can introduce here. It requires high network bandwidth using a lossless network with very low tail latency. That's because uh, synchronized training usually results in the best efficiency. The way that we support that using Sonic is to introduce advanced traffic management using dynamic um, flow control system with RDMA. AI traffic also exhibits low entropy because of its uh, fixed point-to-point -point communication pattern. And this usually results in underutilized network because of the imbalanced routing. So we use advanced routing mechanism uh, to solve that problem. Additionally, AI workload also has a bursty pattern which requires high resolution metrics to be supported. So last slide here, I'm introducing this high resolution matrix collection that we're building. Um, based on on-demand matrix collection, we also support precise client side timestamp using a push model. We leverage the open source solutions such as open telemetry collector and commonly used time series database. And all these services are containerized so that we can use Kubernetes to deploy these services efficiently and safely. To summarize, as the open networking operating system for all, Sonic has become the pillar for various applications, including the fast-growing AI workload. Thank you so much for your attention.